And News Channel 3 is spending Fridays at the beach. And this week at the Oceanfront, surfers grabbed their boards and headed out for the East Coast Surfing Championship. And News Channel 3's Juliet Bigford also headed to the beach to catch some waves. Surfers on the water, 30 seconds. It's the moment surfers have been waiting for all summer. The Coastal Edge East Coast Surfing Championships presented by Vans. And News Channel 3 got a chance to get a behind the scenes look at the big competition. But right here, center stage, yeah, that's right, you have Miss Juliet Vickford. She's out there on the green, uh, in the green uh, jersey next to Mimi Monroe in the black and Greg from Christian Surfers. That's right, I hit the water to see what it's like to compete with the real surfers. Women's surfing legend and Hall of Famer Mimi Monroe showed me how it's done. That's Mimi Monroe right there, folks. Mimi Monroe. And Greg from Christian Surfers had my back, too. But I also had some other coaching from the judges' booth. Here she is. Oh! It's a nice try. Nice try. That's six-year-old surfer Indiana giving me some pointers. Hey, Juliet, just relax. Oh, there she is! She must have taken your advice. How about that, Indiana? Yay. Say, way to go, Juliet. Way to go, Juliet. Oh, way to go, Juliet. But the next wave wasn't so nice to me. I'm okay, but after almost an hour in the water, I'm done. But I just might have a future in the sport. Oh, yeah. She had a great time. And she's got the spirit to keep, you know, to, to work hard. So that's 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 what it takes. Now to hear from the judges' booth. You did real well. In fact, that wave that you caught, we all clapped. Could you hear us? I, I could. I, I, was, I was very excited. And uh, I was just hoping I got some style points or maybe smile points. Style and smile points. And I can count on Indiana for her support. Great job. Labor Day weekend already started for folks at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront and News Channel 3's Juliet Bickford is out there with them. Hey, Juliet. Hey, Bianca. It's always an adventure when you come out here to Virginia Beach, and I love to check out all of the unique things that you can try out. Stand-up paddle boarding is becoming one of the most popular sports out here, so I had a chance to see what it's like. Ready for some stand-up paddling? I might wipe out. My adventure with Rudy Inlet stand up paddle was a fun challenge. Randy Harris is an expert at paddling and agreed to show me how it's done. He's fast. <laughs> I'm not that fast yet. How do you get over there so fast? Every day he takes guests on an unforgettable adventure. One of the most amazing experiences paddling with the dolphins. We paddled through a pod of playful dolphins who came within inches of our boards. A beautiful sight. Then Randy offered something to get my adrenaline going stand up paddle surfing. People usually are very surprised by how easy it is actually. I get people that start paddling all of a sudden the wave takes them and it's over because you're already standing up. I was excited to give it a shot. I hadn't even caught my first wave when I lost my balance and hit the water. It was bound to happen but I didn't give up. Wave after wave after wave took me on a ride and then sent me flying. I think I could get the hang of this. After all that excitement, time to relax with some paddleboard yoga in Rudy Inlet. First, Randy showed me tree pose. We pulled that one off together. Warrior pose wasn't quite as easy. Okay, I've got this. Maybe not. Third time's the charm. You did incredible. I give you tens across the board. You should have been in the Olympics. I'm serious. You did incredible. The balance thing is your thing. Awesome. Shaka. <laughs> you rock. Juliet Bigford live from our Boardwalk Bureau, and you've had to deal with all kind of weather issues out there. Hopefully it's not going to put a damper on all the fun stuff going out there. Yeah, I think things are starting to clear up out here. Lots of fun concerts this weekend, but there's always lots of adventures you can take down here at the oceanfront, including at Rudy Inlet. I got a chance to check out parasailing. Captain Mickey's Rudy Inlet Parasail offers a beautiful and peaceful ride to locals and tourists at the oceanfront. It was fun. It was like you're on a swing at the fair or something, but it was a lot of fun. Very, very calm, smooth, it was a great ride. Tanya and Mike Perry are visiting from Raleigh, North Carolina. News Channel 3 took a ride with them as they tried parasailing for the first time. And I got in on the fun. This is my first time parasailing. I've got to say, I like it. Until... Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, this thing keeps shaking. I don't know if it's the wind. I guess it's the wind. I don't like the shaking part. I wonder if the Perrys liked this part. The wind would get me and then I would start to shake. Did that, did that startle you at all? I think he was playing with you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were doing that. Wow. <laughs> see it was special treatment for me but everyone on captain mickey's boat gets a chance to go for a dip <laughs> that wasn't so bad he said he would go easy on me since i have to be on tv later and now for the landing we made it A big thank you to my new friends at Captain Mickey's Rudy Inlet Parasailing. So much fun. Make sure you check them out. And to see if the weather's going to be good for parasailing tomorrow, we want to check in with meteorologist Miles Henderson to find out more. Hey, Miles. Out here at Friday at the beach, we've been talking all about the Steel Pier Classic that's going on down at First Street. You're going to see surfers from all over the country here to compete. Lots of different categories, but one of the most unique and I think really fun to watch is tandem surfing. So I got a chance to try that out this morning. These teams are getting ready for the Steel Pier Classic at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. They're in the tandem surfing competition, a mix between the sport of surfing and the artistry of dance more challenging. It's a different sport than just surfing alone and it's I compare it to figure skating. Therese Whitehurst and her friends from East Coast Tandem Surfing invited me to try it out. My partner Brian Stokes and I practiced some lifts on land first and talked about what could go wrong like a nose dive. Yeah, we try to avoid that because it's the girl who gets the worst of it. Oh wow, now yeah. you tell me yeah. after I've already agreed to do this. I guess it's now or never. It took some time to get our teamwork skills together. We caught one wave, but didn't have time to try a lift. Then the second wave was perfect, and Brian helped me showcase a move called the cradle. Hold it off. Now for a trick called the swan. We performed this one on land. Would it be just as easy on the water? I want to thank all of my friends out there, all those tandem surfers. A lot of them live right here in Virginia Beach. They say they're out there most Saturdays and Sundays, and they have a blast. You can enjoy seeing them tomorrow and Sunday as part of the Steel Pier Classic. Bring your family. It should be a lot of fun. Well, News Channel 3 spending Friday at the beach. Or can I deliver this? Ahoy there, matey. No, he can't. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates are taking over the Virginia Beach Ocean front. <laughs> Let's leave it to the pirates and News Channel 3's Julianne Bickford. She sailed the high seas to see if she has what it takes to be a pirate. Taking a ball night. Hope you're ready for some adventure. <laughs> An adventure is what you'll get on the Lost Pearl. The big red pirate ship has become a familiar sight at the Virginia Beach Ocean front. But it's more than just a cruise along the beach. We be fighting pirates. We be searching for treasure. We'd be learning about pirates, like dodging cannonballs and such like that. The crew of Captain Jack's pirate ship adventures make sure there's never a dull moment. I want to sing and dance. I want to be a pirate. And the kids get to play the part, too. I want your treasure. Pirate hats, eye patches, and swords fill the ship. And your little buccaneer can also get his or her very own pirate tattoo. I like yours a little better than mine. Yeah. Mine's a little scary looking. Uh-oh, maybe I shouldn't have been so critical. The pirates pulled me into their act. All right, thief, what's your name? Juliet. Juliet. Oh, that's scary. The Dread Pirate Juliet. Where's Romeo to save you? Hi. You got any friends or family aboard? Uh, Wayne over here. Wayne? Wayne. Oh. What's well, you that miss Wayne. he's got there? Uh, he will miss her. Let's just say I barely made it out of that one. Blackbeard wasn't so lucky. <laughs> The notorious pirate circled the lost pearl, but the kids defeated him with water cannon. All in a day's work for a pirate. The reward? Raiding the treasure chest. So we don't think Juliet had to walk the plank.
Christmas Friday at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. And that's where we find News Channel 3's Juliet Bigford. So, Juliet, earlier you've been giving away free stuff and you've been forcing people to eat spam. I know it's crazy stuff, but this is all part of the Coastal Edge and Vans block party this weekend at Coastal Edge. I've got my very cool skateboard right here, and I actually tried a little skating earlier, but these guys right here were great sports doing our spam eating contest. That's something that you can enjoy at the block party. That's because all the surfers and skaters, apparently they eat a lot of spam. So, all right, that's cool stuff. We have them stop the contest, but we're going to have them continue that contest so we can pick out a winner. Meanwhile, I want to show you all the fun you can enjoy at the block party. Take a look. Coastal Edge is the hot spot this weekend for an extreme sports block party hosted by Vans. I had to get in on the fun too. Could I be a skater girl? My friends at Coastal Edge suited me up in Vans and some safety gear. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Got all the padding on, the helmet. So I can do anything, right? You can do anything. You can jump off that thing to the cement and you'll be all right. I tried the push, one of the simplest moves. Okay, I got this. So I need to get going faster? I don't know if I would go faster right. <laughs> After watching the skate team, I had to try the ramp too, except I started at the bottom. I had to take a little break and let the Coastal Edge skate team show you some real moves. Impressive and a little bit scary. Did I mention I haven't been on a skateboard since I was a kid? I found out I was still good at something. Falling? Again and again. I never quite got the hang of it, but it was fun. And speaking of fun, Saturday's big celebration is to premiere a new skating movie. He was gangly. He didn't look pretty. He looked fantastic, but he didn't look pretty. It's called Bones Brigade, and it's a biography about the birth of modern skateboarding, focusing on the personalities that shaped the sport. Some of these skating legends will be at Coastal Edge on Saturday. You can go out to that block party from noon till five tomorrow at Coastal Edge. Lots of free stuff there. Hang out with all of the cool skaters. Also, that movie's at 745 at Beach Movie Bistro. If you go to the block party, you can get some free passes to go to the movie. It should be so much fun. We are having a great time out here so far. The weather is holding up. We know Miles is going to keep us posted on if that will change. The big event that happened today was the air show, and there was quite a crowd on the beach to check out all of the different acts. And what made it really great, as we've been talking about, is how beautiful it was to see over the Atlantic Ocean. And one of the acts that I was particularly excited to see, the Geico Sky Typers. I got a chance to ride with them. Take a look. The Geico Sky Typers are an impressive act at the Patriotic Festival Air Show. They perform low-level precision flying in the SNG, an antique aircraft from World War II. Sky Typers. I got a chance to take a ride with the Sky Typers to see firsthand what it's like. Photojournalist Van Applegate and I put on our official Geico Sky Typers flight suits and headed to our planes. You set? After a quick safety demonstration, we're ready to go. They call this aircraft the pilot maker because it trained so many pilots during World War II. The big question is, would it make a pilot out of me? Sky Typer's commander Larry Arkin showed me the ropes. We flew over the ocean front right where the air show is. It was a surprisingly smooth ride, except when we turned and dropped into formation. Then it felt a little bit like a roller coaster. The Sky Typers are known for typing huge billboards in the sky with the help of a computer. On my flight, they released some smoke to show us how it's done. Then we headed back, a smooth landing after an exhilarating ride. It was really great. I was kind of worried it was going to be a little rough up there, but it was really smooth and uh, I had a good time. I was a little nervous because he wanted me to help out and I didn't want to take a sound. <laughs> she was a joy to fly with, had a smiley face the whole time. I could see it in my mirror and she loved it. It was so much fun. I would definitely go back again. They didn't need me today for the air show, but just in case they need me on Saturday or Sunday to help out, I'm here. It was definitely a cool part of the show. We have a lot more video from today's air show to give you an idea of what's going to be happening over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Come down here right near 17th Street is a prime spot, but really all along the beach, you're going to see such a great view of that air show. We'll have much more here on Friday at the beach to make sure that you know what's going on at the Patriotic Festival. Back to you guys.